Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and today I'm sharing with you uh, blending words, anything to do with the, the beginning sounds, beginning alphabets for kids. So it's going to be a short video with like steps that you can follow. I am not going to go into details with every step. Okay, so the first step is if your child already knows the alphabets, okay so the second step is then now to make a basket so what i've done is i'm showing uh this is my monastery basket which has three i'm sorry a monastery tray with three pockets and what i've done i have shown the way you can create for your child so this alphabet f t and s okay these are the random alphabets which i have put in here and then stuff which starts with the alphabet so then you have a flower you have fish and you have frog you have a t that's the train teeth triangle then you have square star and stone so like this what you can do one at a time you can pick up a sound make a tray and then you can uh, do activities according to it i'm going to link up a video which i did like with alphabet r and the activities that i made around it so it will help you to figure it out how to do the beginning sounds or how to associate a word with an alphabet okay so that's just like a mock-up tray that i thought it's gonna be easy for if uh, but i just just one tip try and go slow try and do one alphabet at one time try and keep repeating it in different ways try and point out um, uh, different things in the house which would start with alphabet whatever alphabet you're doing okay so that was one so if your kid is over that the second activity is that you uh, then the identification of the first star sound okay so now if the first step is done the second step is here and that is like I have pasted some stickers. So first is banana, then car, giraffe and paint. And you can see all that. And then you can keep all of them in a basket. And then slowly, like if you see, you can remove all of them. And you can then ask your child to pick one at a time. And if you think these, the ones that I have pasted are difficult, you can like draw, paint or like put a sticker the ones that you find is easy so guys because i have made this for my son who's like over this what i'm going to do with this activity is uh this is basically a storyboard so there are three storylines one two three okay and what vivan has to do vivan has to create a story of four lines and including all these four char characters in his story so this is how I'm going to be using it. And with this tray, Vivan is going to be writing each and every word. So like if he picks up the square, he needs to write square on a paper. If he picks up a stamper, he needs to write stamper. So I'm going to use the same activity, which you can do it with like with your two and a half year old. I will go forward and do it with my six year old son. Okay, so this was the second activity. The third one is this. So this is basically a word pool and this is a little more complicated because I have to I have written it for Vivan. But what you can do is I have pasted a lot of alphabets and this is words are having a pool party. All alphabets are on their own. Take a dip, find the winner. How many in the pool? So you have Mr. Q, Mr. Miss H, Mrs. A, Mr. O, the red team, the green team, the orange team. So what you can do, you can modify this activity for your child. Like they can identify how many cues are there. And if you think this is way too much, you can just use like two or three of them and then they can do it. For Vivan, he has to also now announce a team winner and the alphabet winner. So basically this is just like an accomplishment. Like after you find out everything, you have to just announce the winner. So this is when your child already knows the alphabet. The sounds okay for the sound you are there and this is like a sound activity and this is like an identification of the alphabet but at the same time for with the one he's gonna count them okay and there's a lot going around trust me it wasn't easy for me I mean I lost like twice already when I was doing this okay so the next one is here once your child knows okay and if he's trying to read okay uh, sorry this is gonna be the next one Ooh. I'm sorry we're gonna do blending sounds here so like what I've done here I have pasted a lot of stickers on a paper and it says match the sound to the picture so you have sh then you have f, then you have ju then you have b ma pa t b so you have all these words and like let's say sh so what's here is it sheep 
paint and what's that is that a wrench yes but then what is it what does it go with it goes with sheep so you have to give like any kind of manipulative and they have to put the manipulative right here the same goes here so like the first four ones are very easy because they're like very uh the pictures are like catered to just one specific sound but as you go down here i have tried putting all three of with m and very similar sounds but you can like always modify it according to your child's age so the same activity which you'll be doing with your two and a half three three and a half year old kid can be done with a six year old too okay so moving forward we have a middle sound activity where you once your child is over that and they are re ready to like spell the middle sound which is like egg bird bug sail sorry snail <laughs> i'm sorry so jug frog sun but guys trust me this is this comes way later so once the child knows the alphabet identifies it with the object tries to identify the blending sounds try and say the word and when you're saying like book he needs to say like it's b it's the b sound and then you go to the middle sound then you have sound of s which is like driven with just one sound and then you have oh so what i've done here is i have just written the first uh the sound the, with the blending sound and then he needs to complete the whole word what you can do is you can make chits like this the way i have made and you can keep it in a corner i mean yes it's not the right shit for here but as like you have spider here you can write spider here and the child can automatically put it right here and the same way it can be done totally Okay, my last activity is um, what I've done. I have taken these three chits and once your child is familiar with the the shape or the the word, okay, they can do a matching activity. So like if you have train, okay, so you have put, either you can put this here or you can put this and they can then correspondingly match. Like this is a train, that's a flower and that's a square. So that's it guys i just thought of making very easy quick activities and then you can like always enhance you can always rectify you can always adapt it to your child's age if you have any questions related to this activity do let me know if you like it please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe thanks for watching see you next time